With the changing of the seasons, many mothers understand the frustration with the risks of colds and flu when it comes to their children. So Andrea Duplessis, our health expert, is here this morning to tell us what we can do to invest in the health of our children. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning. Now, Andrea, what are the risks of catching a cold in children compared to adults? Well, if you look at the statistics, it's quite shocking. Where adults would suffer with a bout of cold or flu two to three times per year, in young children, toddlers, it can be eight to ten times per wow. year. Mm. Now, why are the risks so much higher for toddlers? I think one of the factors is the environments that they um, spend their time in, especially in a creche where there's lots of children. We've all heard somebody saying, oh, my child got sick at the creche. Um, so there's often reinfection, yeah. and as your own child also gets sick, other children are exposed to those germs, yeah. unfortunately. Talking about the whole crash scenario, or really any place like a playground where mm. lots of kids are, is there any good care for them at a crash? Well, if you look at it depends on the crash, but lots of crashes really have good health care um, plans implemented. Mm. But a new trend is that crashes don't allow children that have an infection like a cold to be at the, the crash because okay. they are likely to reinfect the other children. Right. If you think about little children runny noses, it's mm. impossible to stop those germs from spreading. Okay. Now that is a crisis for a mom who's working because if the child is not allowed at the crash, the mom has to take leave from work to yeah. look after their child. Okay. So let's try and make it a little easier mm. for the poor moms and dads out there. What can mothers and fathers do to protect their children against colds? Well, we know that nutrition plays a role in supporting the immune system. It's not going to guarantee um, the absence of colds yeah. and flu, but the um, nutrients, two nutrients that really help support the immune system is vitamin C All right. that we find in these nice oranges mm -hmm. or in fresh berries and um, also in kiwi fruits. All right. So those in a fresh form is rich in, of, rich in vitamin C. Yes. And then sunflower seeds are rich in zinc. Mm -hmm. And zinc is a mineral that's important to help fight colds and flu in the body. Okay, and then of course we always talk about supplementation because I do believe that it assists in the process of trying to get your kids to eat healthily and of course build their immune systems. What can parents use in terms of supplements? Um, Vital made this specific kids viral boost which is an immune booster syrup. Okay. It tastes delicious, it has an orange flavor, so it's easy to get into their bodies. Right. And it contains a whole array of nutrients and also um, a herbal extract mm. that helps with the treatment of colds and flu and coughs and all of that. Oh, you know, I, I love this topic because we're talking about little people who really can't do anything to help themselves. So we have to try and help them as much as we possibly can. How can people get in touch with you? Well, um, if they want to ask me questions about health and nutrition, they can post questions on my Facebook page. It's Andrea Duplessis, Vital Expert. Wonderful. Well, there you have it. To help reduce the risk of infection and the subsequent use of antibiotics, you need to invest in supplements that are going to help boost your kid's immune system. For 30 rand a year, you can subscribe to the Vitalize magazine and receive nutritional advice, fitness tips, and amazing recipes. Visit vital.coza today.